Uh, boys, let's jump into it. One of my favorite segments, the TCF Local Food Spotlight, brought to you by our sponsor, Lodi Tap House. Make sure you follow them on both of their Facebook pages for the Maple Park and the Utica location. I'll get things started. i got to give a shout-out to a place I actually used to work at, uh, bartended at Red Dog Grill for about two years um co-ed a few years back uh but if you're in the it's right outside of ottawa um on the illinois river whether you're into boating or not you know they have the dock right there they have the whole you know marina right there amazing food amazing food and their drink specials are you know like the kind of water themed cocktails um but just really really good food i you can't go wrong i mean they have calamari one of the best calamaris i've ever had um and you know they they, they switch out the menu quite a bit uh, but, you know, the guys that I used to work for uh, still run the place. So uh, shout out to Red Dog Grill in Ottawa. You cannot go wrong. Whether you're just looking for drinks or, you know, a whole meal, check it out. It's definitely worth the trip just to the outside of Ottawa. I love it. Uh, I'm actually going to go with the local spot to where we are right now. We went there today. Um, I wish I would have gotten a little bit of better drinks. I kind of got a random <laughs> drink. But we went to a place called Northern Waters Distillery. Bernie was a big fan of it. Big fan. Uh, they have a little spot in the back, too, where you could smoke cigars. They uh, they sell cigars there. Yep. They had um, bourbon, right? Yeah, they had bourbon. They had gin. They had Matt, whiskey. you would love this place. Um, it was uh, – I got a T-shirt like that I will have to post, uh, and I'll wear when we, we get some video. When, uh, as of right now, um, Matt is looking at a lamp. So that is our video for the night. But Northern <laughs> Waters Distillery, Manaqua, yep. Wisconsin. Uh, we went there today. Beautiful place. Owner's too. a great yeah, dude. Great guy. Um, it was a great time. Like I said, a beautiful place. Spotless, spotless place. Uh, you can see back into the distillery. Uh, like I said, there's a little back porch where you can smoke a cigar or two if you want. But it was a great time. Uh, and the drinks are strong. They're, I mean, it's it's a good. It's a yours was mine yeah. was delicious. Well, no, no, no. What I mean, oh, all. I mean, just oh, good, yeah. good stuff. It was great, great. Uh, it was a blueberry. Was the big one you got? Blueberry. Uh, I have like a blueberry um, small batch whiskey that I bought. Your wife got a martini. Yep, strawberry which was delicious. martini. Uh, was yeah, there. Boomy yeah. had a piece of orange in his and a big blueberry. Two in big his, blueberries. Two fire. big blueberries in his drink. I uh, I'm not very good at ordering at places like that. I got a Zach rum and coke. panicked and just ordered a rum and coke. But it was very strong, so that's it was good There's rum. Nothing wrong with a staple. Don't go. Don't ever. Don't ever turn your nose at a staple, Zach. That's a good way to go. Oh yeah, Maddie, what's yours? All right, I got a I got a little bit of an, an alert tonight, boys. I think we uh, I'm going to use the goat word um, tonight for for an oh, item that oh. I that I stumbled across. Uh -oh. And it's a little place in Geneva called Atlas Chicken Shack. And it's uh, kind of a little bit of a hipster spin on a chicken shack type place. So I'll, I'll, I'll give them that, that own um, just because it's also in downtown Geneva. And that's kind of the vibe that they're, they're trying to get down there. But anyway, the food at this place, uh, absolutely outstanding. Um, I've tried a lot of their stuff already. Uh, I've gone back. Since the first time I went there three weeks ago, we've gone back two other times since. Um, Love. Got the wings. Their wings are very good. Pick your barbecue sauce. They got the Shack Barbecue, Atlas Chicken Shack. It's kind of like a solid, tangy barbecue. It's got a hint of sweet to it. But, boys, the chicken sandwich that they make um, might be the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. I, I can't undersell that enough. I'm not we talk to yeah, uh, like a little to go get some some chicken sandwiches. I'm always down for that. Um, these these were absolutely dynamite. Um, I, I, I'm a big fan of Chick Fil A personally. I think what outside of their you know I know everybody has their own take on them. You know I just like their chicken sandwiches. I think their food's really good. Um, this absolutely blew theirs out of the water. Um, you pick whatever. They've got like six or seven sauces. Pick one to throw it on there. Normally comes with pickles. I'm not a pickle guy. I don't get them with it. But I just got like a creamy chipotle on it, and it was absolutely dynamite. Um, for a side, too, they had uh, these fried rice balls. And uh, they're, they're just little balls of rice with chihuahua cheese and uh, oh. a blot. 
and poblano peppers, like just really finely diced up. And they're they're just like the size of a hush puppy, so they're not like real big. But he had like five or six of them, I think, in an order. And oh my god, dude, those things were those things were dynamite too. So I can't tell you enough though. The chicken sandwich was just it was a game changer for me. And uh, you know, it's not crazy price. It's just it's a nice little place. They got a nice little carry out window. Uh, call ahead or they got the uh, sit down area outside too so it seemed like really cool people that run the place too so i love it that i think sounds- that's a big thing matt like you say about you know cool people running it and like i said i have the connection to red dog and israel yeah. who, who and the boss, day we were there he, the guy that yeah man, nice just just nice conversation just you be wanna, nice be yes. nice people yes right. you want to get sponsor or you know get you know a hit on the tcf local food spotlight just be just be nice people be good people have good food have good drinks have a good vibe uh we we had some drinks the guy was nice and we're like hell let's try let's buy some merchandise and buy some shirts your dad bought the only hoodie off of the wall the guy brought the ladder out and got it off the the wall on the ladder got the he's like oh i know we got one up here i'll just take it off here it's only been out there for a week i mean it's just it's just nice people and that yeah we know it's a good place Definitely, definitely, it definitely helps out.